Lastly, ABC 27's Abby Phillips spent the day in St. Mark's and tells us how boaters are riding out the recession. For years, Joseph Hinnenfent and his wife kept their boat at the St. Mark's Marina. But due to tough times, they're now hauling it home. Yeah, I used to keep it in the rack right up here, but uh, I got laid off from my job. So uh, I uh, drove actually all the way to Ocala and got this trailer. And uh, now we're just trying to make it fit. While storing their boat at the marina is convenient, it's just not affordable for them anymore. For a boat the size of mine, it's roughly $180 a month. Which is reasonable. I'm not complaining. It's just more than I can afford now that I don't have a job. It's an unfortunate situation now reflected on the river. This dock, once full of life, is now full of boats up for sale. I've seen a lot of for sale signs. I guess it's a crunch. And you're fortunate, obviously, enough to be able to keep your boat and take out your friends and family on it. I hope so. <laughs> I don't know for how long, but I hope so. Others who don't own a boat, like Sid Griffin, find a friend to take them out. We went and rode the boat up the river, took the children out and let them swim a little bit and looked at the wildlife. Gas prices are a dollar cheaper than last summer, so many say they'll be vacationing closer to home this 4th of July weekend to save money. We're going to go to Caravelle and stay the couple nights there and go out in the boat. But for Joseph, he's enjoying what may be his last ride for a while. Yeah, we took it out for a ride, tried to do a little fishing, didn't do any good. Just basically have a good time with it before we had to haul it home. In St. Mark's, Abby Phillips, ABC 27 HD. The economy is certainly changing a lot of behaviors. A lot of the boaters that we talked to said they're actually cutting the amount of time that they're spending out on the water to save on fuel costs. So we're